intro is very short because I am absolutely fucking exhausted but I want to open this bad boy up right now so let's do it so uh, in case you don't know I'm going to Eternal Twilight which is a big Lolita convention here in Finland, Helsinki and I wanted to because I'm helping organize it, I want to wear Lolita for the tea party, but for the main event, when I'm going to be running around, I wanted to wear OG, so I ordered, and I didn't even bring scissors. And I also apologize for the echo, this is going to be my craft room, and it is at the moment very bare, so please bear with me. And the grey wall is coming back, it's just walled behind my earthly belongings, so you get this instead. But yeah, I ordered a vest and a shirt from Fanplus Print because I've always had positive experience with their items. So here we go. I'm gonna talk about the prices later when I actually remember them right now. I just want to get this open and see if they fit because I'm oddly shaped <laughs> in a sense so every time I try to look at size charts and decide what what size goes best for me it's always very hard because some measurement is going to be way too big if one measurement is right or if I choose for example by my waist then everything else is too small but if I go by my shoulders then the waist will be humongous so they, all, they do have custom sizing, but I don't remember exactly what I got, so we'll see. Uh, it came in a lovely tote bag, which has some pulls. I actually have several of these right now, and these are really handy because I am living the reusable tote bag life. And Let's start with the vest, because this is the main thing, and if you follow me on Instagram, I kind of hyped these up the day that I ordered them. So, because I do have waistcoats, but the only, because I wanted, I knew I wanted a black and blue cord, and the, my favorite waistcoat has red lining and gold buttons, so that really didn't go. And the all black one I have is from Bodyline, and I do love it to bits, but I don't want to wear Bodyline when the guest of honor is Moitié, so I got this. And the fabric looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna show some close-ups. This looks like it's an alarm. But I doubt it is because they shaped it. It's just a plasticky thing for the tag. This is the Neo Ludwig series and it comes with a detachable bow and waist ties so that in case if it is too big I can cinch it up in the waist. But this I thought that this uh, shape and cut was also really easy to modify if I have to take it in or something like that. And because it has... <laughs> everything's black on black on black, even I'm black. But this has a really pretty lapel style color. So when I was thinking about the blouse I wanted to wear underneath it, I didn't have a blue blouse that fits because this already has a color. So I don't want any Peter Pan colors on the shirt. And a lot of blouses with stand-up colors, they would have a ruffle on the shoulder. But because I'm wearing a vest that has a lapel, it's gonna look really chunky. So it was actually quite hard to find. Because I had a very specific vision in my mind on what I wanted. The color is really pretty. Okay, and I also wanted to get this because I want a green blouse. That's a cat yelling because the door is closed. Uh, but this blouse also comes in green, so if I love this, I'm going to buy the green one. Because green blouses are really hard to find. L not like mint green, but like moss green, like slithering green. Really hard to find, apparently. I didn't know that until I tried to find one. 
without succeeding. But if this is a good size, and I already know I love the material, but if this is a good size, then I actually can order this in green as well. So that was the second reason why I chose to go with this exact blue blouse, because I know that this is also available in green. And it doesn't have any kind of extra lacing or decoration, because I like especially with items that I know I'm going to wear with OG as well, or with boy style in general, I don't want a lot of frills and a lot of lace. I and anyway my style is more like basic and toned down. I'm usually Lolitas really love when there are seven kinds of lace in a thing and I just don't want. That's why I love innocent world dresses because a lot of times even the dresses don't have lace on the bottom or on the hem. I'm very simplistic when it comes to cuts and materials and stuff. And I always prefer print over ruffles and lace, so... Yeah! These look really good. I know I'm not gonna get a lot of wear out of the color bow, but that is detachable. So yeah, I know I'm rambling because I want to fall asleep like right now. <laughs> So I'm gonna talk about the prices and everything, I'm gonna show you some close-ups, so I'm gonna shut up now and try if these actually fit. So, I'll see you another day. Here is the blouse. Like I said, it is a very simple design because that is what I like in my blouses, especially for OG. The only thing I have a problem with is the buttons. Or not a problem, but they just look a bit lost, I don't know. How they fit the style of the shirt and here is the tag neo ludwig collection coat and whoop, ingredients and i really love it i absolutely love the fabric i love the color and i love the subtle details And it is a really nice quality in my eyes. I am absolutely happy with it apart from the buttons. Here it is from the back. It has lacing at the bottom so that you can cinch it in if it's too big for you. And otherwise it is very plain. And that is how I like it. Here is the loop for the neck bow. And the neck bow looks like this. It is made from the exact same material and it has a velcro at the back. And here is the vest. It is really hard to show on camera when it's off a body, but here you can kind of see how it flares from the waist and then it comes down. And I absolutely love the fabric. And the lace and it's from the same collection if, if it's a collection I don't really know how those things work this is just a crease it looks funny on the camera but it's a crease because I just opened these and the front detailing here's the tag it is completely polyester And the waist ties are detachable, which is a plus. I love when things are detachable so that you can really change the look. And the back is nice and plain, except if you tie the waist ties, then of course you have the bow here. And it's super long at the back. Absolutely gorgeous. It also came with a bow from the same fabric with a clip. I don't know if I'm going to wear it or not because again I'm not much of a bow person but it is lovely to have one in case I want to wear it. Here's the tote bag. Again it has strings that you can cinch it up with which is a pretty bag. Here is the blouse and it is the absolutely perfect size 
the sleeves are nice and long so even if I do anything with my hands they still cover my wrists which is my pet peeve with blouses especially Asian size blouses if they make a blouse that's big enough for my shoulders and my boots the sleeves are almost always like like this long so that it shows a lot of my wrist so the fact that these have super long sleeves I absolutely love and when I have just my arms straight I love the baggy look of the sleeves so yeah here is also the necktie which I probably won't be using a lot but I still really like it I it's nice to have the option and again look look at the sleeves but yeah it is absolutely perfect and I might change the buttons depending on how much time I have <laughs> before eternal twilight but yeah I also chose this kind of far away angle because I wanted to show my silhouette because I have hips and bute so this is why I chose the vest which I will show you now so now that the waistcoat has this flare it kind of hides that figure because even though I have no problems with myself, you know, outside of OG, but in boy, boy style I want to at least look like I attempted some androgynous look. So I really love the silhouette and also it again reminds me of Lolita because of the petticoats and the poof. So I absolutely love this and because this does allow room for a petticoat that means that I can wear this with skirts and dresses as well. So it's really versatile and I absolutely love it. Here is the silhouette and I tied the waist ties but again they are detachable. So it would look like this without the waist ties. Here is a close-up of the color and the lace and the blouse color and this is why I didn't want a blouse that has a lot of shoulder ruffles because again this has to sit on it so now it's nice and flat and the reason why I went for such a big size is because I want this to be wide enough to cover my shoulders because I hate it <laughs> As a person with wild shoulders, it is my pet peeve when things miss my shoulder, when it's way too narrow. So this is why I went for such a big size and it's a tiny big, bit big around here, but I can live with it or I can just take it in. Inception, you can see the camera. As for quality, I am really happy with both of them. The vest is a tiny bit big around the armpit area, but when I have my hands down you can't really see it. And I like that it's a... I don't want to say thinner fabric or that it's floppy, but I could see from the pictures that it doesn't have a big structure like boning or anything, which means that this is a bit more relaxed. A bit more flowy because the red and black one the vest that I have it is very structured and it feels kind of heavy to wear and I it's kind of a good thing because then I keep my posture up all the time but it's also a tiny bit uncomfortable so I can slouch in this if I want to I will try not to but I can if I want to so if I'm traveling with this for example it will be a lot more comfortable than traveling with the black and red one and the make time for the vest was uh, it said it was about four weeks but I think that they sent the we have shipped this in three weeks so it was actually faster than they said I think the blouse was ready made but I will 
put the correct information here and it shipped really quickly to Finland but because Finnish post is being a giant dickhead it took almost a month for it to arrive from the capital Helsinki to me, to the woods. And that's a, about two and a half hour drive because I still live in the very south of Finland. So that was fun. I got an email from a fan plus friend saying that, yo, you haven't picked it up. What's the problem? They're gonna send it back to us. And I was like, it's not here yet. So that was Finland's fault, not Fambela's friend. I am 100% happy with their service yet again. This is fifth time now that I have ordered from them and I have one that one dress from Fambela's friend that I got second hand and I am absolutely happy with that one as well. So I don't know why they get such a bad rap. I mean, some of their items are definitely not Lolita or OG, but the items that are, I think, are really nice quality and I have always liked them and I will continue to purchase from them. But yeah, this was a quick unboxing and will be hopefully the last video with this background and setup. It should be a bit less echoey now than when I did the unboxing part but yeah this is going to be my craft room so it's still very much unfinished and the wall that I usually film against with with the gray pattern wallpaper used to be my craft room but because it is the smallest room of the house it shall now be my bedroom but I will still continue to film against the wallpaper because I think it's really nice but it's a mess right now so this is what we get but this is hopefully the last video that i will film here now i just have to figure out the rest of the coordinate for <laughs> eternal twilight and it also if you're interested in how i'm making this room look like it is a mostly lolita room then follow me on instagram same name attitude lolita i put i have updated a lot <laughs> in there especially in my stories and I have a highlights archive of those stories for the wardrobe and for the room. But yeah, I will talk to you again soon and worry not tutorials are coming once I have everything in order and I am for now I've done most of my work for Eternal Twilight but I will again be very busy maybe a couple weeks or a month before the event itself but i now have a lull when i can relax and chill and hype myself and plan my outfit so yeah i'm going to talk to you in the next video bye